Hi, this is David at Mash IT, and this is tonight's second unboxing. Uh, this here is another product from Dell. It's the XPS 2-in-1, the new Tiger Lake model. Uh, so let's have a quick look what we get in the box. I'm sure it'll be very similar to the previous 9300. So, freed up all this tape. Yep, so packaged identically to the 9300 we've just unboxed. So we've got the nice box within a box with this uh, quite a nice Dell box that they're putting in this year, this little black box. I'm not sure what last year's was like, we didn't get one uh, with a magnetic close, closer on there, which is quite nice. And here we are, here's the laptop. This is the 2-in-1 XPS 13, put to one side for a second, let's just see if we've got all the same in it as the previous, so. Same 45 watt small USB-C power adapter as the 9300, that's nice. Yeah, and we've got the same lead and the same USB-C to USB adapter. Right. And yeah, I'm guessing again, it's just going to be the pamphlets, yeah, nothing else. So, very similar experience. But it is a nice box that they've provided this year, that's quite nice. That over there. Right, let's open this laptop. I don't know why they put the sides on it outside. So you can't just pull it down like you can like on a Mac, which is a bit of a weird one. They'll half think about it. Nearly got the Apple experience right. There we go. So it looks similar size as the 9300. Obviously you can see the hinges on the top because it is the uh, two and one that folds right over. Same sort of grips on the bottom, but slightly different vents. And the sides on this side, Thunderbolt 4 and uh, headphone headset jack. And on the other side, another Thunderbolt 4 and a micro SD card. So exactly the same ports as the 9300. Right, let's open her up. Well, it opened a little bit easier than the 9300, but still not quite one handed opening. We've again chosen the sort of the carbon fiber black model. Uh, it's got the same nice soft touch carbon fiber, but it does attract oil, so you have to be careful with that and keep it clean. Again, we've got the Intel Evo sticker, a nice smooth touchpad, and exactly the same keyboard as the uh, 9300. And this is good because the previous model, I believe, had the Maglev keyboard, uh, which a lot of people didn't like. This feels I don't know if it is a maglev, but it does still feel nice and crisp and tactile, so that is nice. Obviously, the advantage of this model, you can flip it right round, sit it on the desk, pop it in temp mode, uh, and it, obviously it's a glossy touchscreen on this one. Whereas the other one, we've got the matte. Both of these are the uh, the uh, what was it the 1080 or whatever this model is, the uh, the lower res model. I'll take a look in a minute. So there we go. So I'm just going to pause it there, uh, fire it up and in, get my account set up in there and we're going to come back and look at it in Windows and look at the specs. So here we are, we've set it up into Windows. Um, I'm going to quickly go through the specs to start with to show you what we've bought with this model. So this is the new XPS 13 2 one laptop. We've ordered the 11th generation Intel Core i7-1165G7. Tiger Lake processor. We've also got the Windows 10 Home Edition. We've chosen the 16 gigabyte of 4,267 MHz LPDDR4X high-speed memory. Now, this is the 512 gigabyte PCIe NVMe hard drive. This is soldered on board, so please, if you are buying this 2-in-1, take note. You cannot upgrade the hard drive like you can with the 9300. So buy what you need when you buy this laptop. So we've got the maximum that is available at the moment. 
I was hoping that they would offer a one terabyte version, but maybe that will come later. We've also got the Intel Iris Xe graphics, the new uh, Iris graphics which we've been looking forward to. Uh, and the screen, we've chosen the 16x10, 13.4 inch, 1920 by 1200 touch display. So this is the 500 nit touch display. We could have taken the 4K touch display, uh, but you know, we, obviously we prefer a bit more battery life. Um, and I think this again, like, like the 9300, with this pixel density, <clears throat> I think 1200 is, is a high enough pixel density on 13 inch that you're not really gonna see the difference Obviously the 4K will be a better screen, but I think the, you know, the hit on battery life for me wasn't worth it, so we've chosen the 1200p. Now, funny enough, there's no white option on the 2-in-1. We would have probably chosen the black anyway, but you know, at the moment in the UK, there is only the uh, black interior. So having set this up and running all the updates uh, off camera whilst we were getting ready, the keyboard, it remains quite cool. Again, like the 9310, there is a hot spot here, but it's not that hot that it bothers your hands when you're typing. The underside on this model remain pretty cool. Now the 9310 that we've also got in today, the, the underside, I had that on my legs and that was pretty much scorching my knees. This one, I don't know whether it's got a different thermal solution or whether it's uh, thermally throttled, we'll be testing that in the full review. But the bottom stayed relatively cool. Um, which is quite impressive. I think maybe because it's a two-in-one, they've they've insulated the bottom, but it's much nicer on the lap than the 9300. So that was quite a nice surprise when using this model. We've got the same keyboard as I said on the 9000. Sorry, the 9310. Uh, it's a very nice keyboard, backlit, um, fingerprint reader, really decent keyboard. Certainly better than last year's model. And again, the touchpad. It's a very nice large touchpad, it's responsive, the gestures all work, uh, you can click pretty much anywhere, though this one does feel a little bit tougher at the top than the 9310, whether that's manufacturing tolerances or whether it's a slightly different design, but this one's a little bit tougher to press, but it does still work. Now with the screen, the difference between this and the 9310 that we also had in today, this is a glossy touchscreen. So, um, that's quite nice for, obviously this has pen support being the two-in-one. You can get, I think it's a Wacom pen. We're gonna look at getting one of those uh, soon so we can test that. But this is quite nice, you know, if you want a glossy screen and a touch screen, you've still got the 1200p panel, but it's a good quality panel. And then you can use a pen for, you know, a bit of drawing, flip the screen round, which we're gonna look at in our full review. Speakers, I'm gonna quickly test out the speakers. They sound almost identical to the 9310. So here we are with the same bit of music we've done in our previous unboxing of the 9310. I'm going to play it now at 30% volume. Again, for 13 inch, sounds very good. This is, I believe, still down firing, but it does sound okay. Not a lot of bass, but very clear, very crisp. And I'm going to pop it up to 60 like I did with the 9310. So it gets loud enough that I have to raise my voice to speak to you on the camera here. Um, quite enjoyable speaker experience for a 13 inch laptop. So I, again, I think they've used pretty much exactly the same speakers as they have in the 9310, so some decent speakers there. Right, now obviously this being a two-in-one, you've got the advantage of not only can you use it like a laptop, but we can also flip the screen. So this means we can use it in tent mode. So if you're watching a movie, you can pop it into tent mode, use it that way. You can also pop it down on the desk this way. And then especially if you're drawing, obviously the screen will auto-rotate. You can pop it back, draw, you can flip it flat. And you can use it like a clipboard in your hand. Now when it is fully folded back, or when it's folded back, the keys are deactivated. So when you're holding it, you will feel the keys. You might feel a bit unusual if you're not used to it, but you're not actually gonna like depress any keys. Nothing's gonna happen when we're pressing these in the background. So you can pick it up and you can draw on it. Now it is reasonably heavy for drawing on, like being a big large 13 inch tablet, um, but it's certainly doable. 
if you're used to a Surface Pro, you're going to find this a little bit more cumbersome for sure. But, you know, I think Gary's going to be testing this over the next couple of days. He's a big Surface Pro user and does a fair bit of art on his Surface Pro. So I'm going to get him to do the same on this laptop and let me know, because I'm not a big artist myself, how he's found it. But it's nice to have, you know, the versatility with this laptop. I think we've covered everything in this uh, unboxing and first impressions. Like the 9310 laptop, the, the uh, XPS 13, the standard model, I think this is a very nice 13 inch Ultrabook. Obviously, being the 2 in 1, it is slightly different from that one with the glossy screen and the, you know, the screen that can flip right back. This is about 100 UK pounds more than the 9310. This configuration comes in at 1750, but like I said in the previous unboxing, there are plenty of Dell vouchers out there. Um, so at the moment, there's a 40% off in the UK. Um, so always shop around before buying from Dell or speak to reps because the reps will often give you a, a decent discount as well. Never buy list price with Dell, ever. We're going to be testing these over the next day or so and I'm going to come with, back with a full review in the next couple of days. So if you're interested in seeing that full review, we're going to run the performance suite on this new Tiger Lake CPU. Please subscribe and please hit the notifications um, and then you'll be notified of our next couple of videos coming up on these laptops. Thank you for watching.